Hey guys, so what we have already done is we have already started our protein synthesis process with DNA replication. And right now we are in the nucleus. Remember that DNA is always trapped in the nucleus and I compare that to the Mona Lisa that cannot actually leave the museum. You can buy prints of the Mona Lisa, you can take a picture of the Mona Lisa, but you're not actually going to be able to take the Mona Lisa home. And before we even get into the second step of protein synthesis, which is transcription, I want to do a real quick review over DNA replication. So you should be able to tell that this is DNA for two reasons. One, it's double-stranded, and two, you can see the nucleotides are A paired with T and C paired with G. In the first step of protein synthesis, or DNA replication, we have two particular enzymes we really focus on. The first one being DNA helicase. DNA helicase is what actually breaks it open. And then DNA polymerase adds those complementary base pairs. So now we have two separate complete molecules of DNA. So both of these will be double-stranded. Now what I want to focus on now, because you've already gotten a video of the DNA replication, is I want to go through the second and third steps of protein synthesis, which is transcription and translation. So right now, we are still in the nucleus, and we have a molecule of DNA. This has already been replicated. Um, and we need to go ahead and find a way to actually synthesize or create proteins. So the way I want you guys to understand this is transcription is done in the nucleus, and also the big picture is it takes DNA and it turns it into mRNA. We're making that copy of the Mona Lisa. So overall, we are in the nucleus, but this particular red blob right here is actually the enzyme RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase does two separate things. RNA polymerase first splits the DNA, and it also adds those complementary nucleotides. Remember, the differences between RNA and DNA are the sugar differences. DNA has deoxyribose, where RNA has ribose. RNA is single-stranded, and DNA is double-stranded. And DNA has to stay in the nucleus. But the big difference is, is that RNA has a little bit difference in the pairing between the nucleotides. A now pairs with U. So anytime you see a A and you think it would pair with a T, it's now going to pair with a U. And that's any time we're using RNA. So that's going to be used in mRNA or messenger RNA, tRNA, and rRNA. So what RNA polymerase is going to do after it unzips this DNA molecule is it's actually going to combine to make those complementary nucleotides. So right here we have a T and T pairs with A. A pairs with T in DNA, but this would be a U. Actually go like this. C pairs with G. Okay, what is that? A-U-G. School starts in August. That's going to be our start codon. We're going to keep going down. G pairs with C. T pairs with A. G pairs with C. We keep going down, keep splitting them. C pairs with G. T pairs with A. C pairs with G and so on. So we're going to finish that up until we reach the end of that DNA strand. And now what we're going to do is the DNA molecule can't leave the nucleus. So it actually just meets at the end and it is actually going to go back together and stay in the nucleus. DNA is precious, it's going to stay in the nucleus. So these DNA strands are going to reconnect and it's going to just float around the nucleus. Now what we're left with is an mRNA molecule. Now the mRNA molecule is unique because it is single-stranded and the big thing is, is it can actually exit the nucleus. So what we're going to do next is we are going to go through translation. What I want to review right now is what we did. So we've already gone through DNA replication. What we did right here in this step is we took DNA and we transcribed it into mRNA or messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is going to leave through a nuclear pore. When you think of pore, you probably think of the pores on your face, those big holes, okay? So a nuclear pore is the way that that single-stranded mRNA can exit to then go to the ribosome. So this is step one. In my next video, you will see the second step, which is translation.